Here in the finals, definitely going to keep this one. Land heavy, but uh, we get a 1-2 drop that also cantrips. And we have a combat trick that's actually kind of legitimate here, so I like it. Ah. Interesting. Impact's a good draw. Kept a one lander? That's dangerous move, my friend. You must have just a grip of two drops. Otherwise, the one lander is not a wise move. So now we get to go force mage. Guess Force Mage the Construct. Pushes an extra damage through. If I had done the Visionary, I think he would have... Huh. Well, that one I don't quite understand. The old chump block, huh? Yeah, my opponent do not think has a legitimate way back in this game. Look at the land next turn. Pile driver. So are we lethal with Might of the Masses yet? If I just go like Orchard Spirit Might plus five, he blocks, even if he blocked a two power guy, we get in, I guess we only get in 10. That's oh, just Wild Instincts then. Actually, I guess Wild Instincts plus Might is probably lethal, right? 3, 5, 7, 9, 13. Whatever. All right, so opponent got man screwed and lost. He's got the spoiler, goblin pile driver. Crone sergeant's a good one against us, especially bonded construct. Um, I kind of want the chief again. I want the chief, and um, probably cutting. Well, he's playing black red, which means Orchard Spirit's not going to have a lot of ways to get blocked, which is relevant. Conclave Naturalist at least has one target, so I'm not cutting that. Could cut a Force Mage. Certainly worse on defense, but I kind of maybe a I like a good two-two split. Let's cut the Orchard Spirit, one of our three, and try this. Orbs of Warding. It's interesting if he's running like Chandra's Fury. Preventing that from happening is nice. 
It also randomly turns off at least a couple of his creatures. Um, I'm fine with this for now. Mm, eh. Sand's a bit awkward. I guess we keep, though. It's just... It just needs two drops off the... Oh, he skipped his first turn. Hmm. Huh. Well, that helps. Need all the help we can get. Did kind of keep a mediocre hand there, so... I actually shouldn't have F6 there. It doesn't represent a counter spell, but whatever. All right. We've been drawing poorly, so I got to say, I'm pretty happy my opponent uh, skipped his first turn. We went land, trick, land with a land-heavy hand. All right. Well, I'm definitely going to eat that dude. Valoran Wardens is good. Yeah, I actually do want to play the Wardens. The reason is, he can strike with Sergeant. I still can kill it with uh, Wild Instincts. I still get to swing this turn. And me being able to get in with Wardens next turn just seems a little bit too beneficial to, to pass up on. I mean, granted, he's very likely got Titanic or uh, Titan Strength or whatever, but that's okay. I'm not going to block the Sergeant either. I'll take it. He can get Renowned. Like, it was a little bit of a bold move to play the Wardens, but Wardens certainly gets worse later. A 1-3 three for 3 on, like, turn 6 or 7 is not so impressive. Mm, I wish I could buff it. So, all right. He got his value. He got his damage in. Now we're just going to do the same thing we were going to do last turn anyway. And he's down a Lightning Javelin, and we're down... Uh, Valerian Wardens, but that's all right. Well, who knows? Maybe we can manage to race this with just an Orchard Spirit. I mean, we do have the Titanic growth. So now we just need, like, anything in our deck besides lands, I think. I don't want to say that preemptively, but... I do believe that's the case. All right. Deadbridge Shaman. Ooh, and a spoiler. Well, that's a little bit more hardcore. So creature here would be nice. That's a good one. That is a good one. So we're going to keep the offensive up. I mean, we're ahead on the race right now. And because I've got Titanic Growth... And uh, Might of the Masses. I'm trying to think. Next turn I can get in for what? Um, six plus another two. Wait, four, six, eight. Yeah, I think we're actually going to take the beats here. I think I take I think I let this happen I mean there's some some problems with it like we're taking a beating but well Dragon Vocation's interesting problem is Dragon does not work so well
Well, Orchard Spirit number two is actually just fine. We're going to pre-combat that in case I have to play Mighty the Masses. I mean, I think we have lethal next turn, right? Yeah, I mean, we got lethal next turn with Draga invocation alone, which means I can comfortably use combat tricks here to defend against burn. Mm, he did not, wait, oh, I was going to say, he didn't leave up a red mana, but I don't actually think that matters. So now, now let me think about this. Problem is, I, I can't. Uh, I can't. Def Did I miss a land drop too? I hope I didn't. Because. <sighs> it's tough. Um, I think I actually might have the masses this turn. For a couple of reasons. Um, it keeps it alive this turn so I can block. And I can still trade with either one. Um, I don't need it anymore. So I think I keep it alive this turn. Let me think. Duraga next in five. No, I, I want a might. Brings it up to four. It does die at the end of his turn, but he doesn't put us on a two-turn clock, and we just need another turn before we win with, with Titanic growth. So this is a weird play, but I might have the masses so I can block. Like, now he really doesn't want to attack because we're going to lose our guy. Yeah, but the fact that we have another turn now, I think is actually really relevant. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So now we go automaton. Bashin with Orchard Spirit. And I think we actually do Titanic Growth here. Because I, I wouldn't be able to Invocation Titanic Growth next turn unless I for sure drew a land. So I think getting that damage in, this forces him to remove Orchard Spirit right now. That's like not even one I'm worried about. Plus he's tapped out on red. I think we just win. I mean, his last card, if it's removal, but he doesn't even have us. No, I think we're just fine, actually. Sweet. Well, we got an 8-4 with our uh, basically just beat down, almost borderline mono green deck. Uh, opponent in the finals was pretty weird, though. He kept a one lander with, like... Well, he did have two drops. He just was really... I mean, he basically did what we did in round two, game uh, three. And uh, it panned out for us and didn't for him. But then game two, passing on his first turn, I mean, I really think that that likely cost him the game since... Like I said, we kept a mediocre hand that was a three and four drop, and uh, we went land, Titanic Growth land. So we didn't even, we there was like no uh, proactive start from us at all. So I really do think that that likely cost him the game.
uh, skipping his first turn. But cool. All right. Well, next draft will be an 8-4. Hope you enjoyed this one. And we'll see you then.